Well, the legal steps are officially underway for convicted killer Scott Peterson. He now has new lawyers who want to clear his name and make him a free man. Peterson was convicted of killing his wife Lacey and their unborn son Connor in 2002. The murder case out of Modesto gripped the country and now the LA Innocence Projects is representing Scott Peterson. I mean, they say their request for DNA testing on evidence the defense never received is not quote a fishing expedition. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour was in the courtroom in Redwood City today and tells us where the case goes from here. Two major developments to come out of today's status hearing for Scott Peterson at the San Mateo County Courthouse. One, this is the first time his new lawyers with the LA Innocence Project appeared in court for the convicted killer and are now on the record. And second, there's a new judge hearing this case, Elizabeth Hill. Good morning, Mr. Peterson. Can you both see and hear the proceedings, sir? Yes, sir, I can. Thank you. Convicted murderer Scott Peterson, with his hair pulled back, appears by Zoom from the Mule Creek State Prison, where he's serving a life sentence for killing his wife Lacey and their unborn son, Connor, Christmas Eve 2002. Do we have your consent to proceed via Zoom this morning? Absolutely. Thank you, Your Honor. Peterson's new team of lawyers from the L.A. Innocence Project want the judge to order the Stanislaus County District Attorney to release evidence for DNA testing. In January, they filed motions with hundreds of pages of their reasoning, arguing the defense never received the evidence 20 years ago. I don't think that the nature of the request is not a fishing expedition. They're very precise. They're very specific. And we believe that they are... Uh, probably very easily accessible. Specifically, the defense wants DNA testing on a blood-stained mattress found in a burned van in the Peterson's Modesto neighborhood. Their theory, Lacey Peterson's murder was connected to a series of home burglaries that she may have stumbled upon while walking her dog. They also want to test a hammer and work glove left behind in a burglary across the street, as well as a target bag and duct tape found inside the bag discovered on the shoreline in the San Francisco Bay, where a passerby found the remains of Lacey and her unborn son. Even if it's Lacey's DNA on it, it doesn't mean Scott's going to get out of prison. It isn't that isn't going to mean that he's going to get an automatic new trial. Legal analyst Paula Canny has been observing the Peterson case for two decades and says if Lacey's DNA shows up on the new evidence, it could change the entire scope of the case. It'll prove that the system made a mistake, the prosecution withheld evidence, that we are driven by a mob mentality sometimes, that Scott Peterson's lost 21 years of his life. Today's status hearing now part of a string of scheduled hearings where lawyers will present their DNA motions and arguments on whether or not testing should be done on that new evidence. Peterson is expected to appear by Zoom again for the April, May and July hearings. Reporting in Redwood City, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Thank you, Michelle. The prosecution filed a motion to seal the court case. That issue will be taken up at the April hearing, and the LA Innocence Project is a nonprofit organization and takes on cases it believes end in wrongful convictions.